Assalamualaikum everyone. Today we will continue our lecture with topic 3, Business Cycles, Unemployment and Inflation. In today's video, we will look at what is inflation, how to measure inflation, and how to interpret inflation. So, what is inflation? Inflation is when there is a rise in the general price level in an economy over a sustained period of time. Let's take a look at what each of these important terms indicate. A general price level means that we are not talking about a single goods and services, but of goods and services across the economy. Movements in prices of individual goods and services are changes in relative prices, but inflation is when the trend in general prices is up. Sustained means it is not a one-off rise in the general price level, but a more persistent increase in prices. Normally, when we talk about inflation, it refers to the rate of growth of prices that households pay when buying goods and services. Let's move on to how to measure inflation. Inflation is calculated by measuring changes in the cost of living. The official method is the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. The CPI measures the percentage change in the price of a market basket of goods and services purchased by a typical consumer or household. This includes food, clothing, housing, transportation, health, and other miscellaneous items. Here's the basic formula to calculate the CPI. That is, we take the ratio of the price or total expenditures of the market basket of goods and services in the current year over the price or total expenditures of the market basket of goods and services in the base year and multiply by 100. The rate of inflation is basically the percentage change of CPI from one year to the next. Let's take a look at an example on how to calculate the inflation rate. Say we have three years, 2000, which is the base year, 2019 and 2020. The first step that we need to do is to calculate the CPI for each year, where we divide the total expenditures for the current year over the total expenditures for the base year and multiply by 100. To get total expenditures, what you need to do is to multiply the price and quantity of each product and add them all up. In this example, the quantities are maintained for simplicity, but the prices vary according to the years. Let's find total expenditures for 2019. We have three products, that is jeans, movie tickets, and books. So for each product, we multiply the quantity with its price. That is, one unit of jeans multiplied by its unit price of 100 will give us 100 ringgit worth of jeans. 20 units of movie tickets multiplied by its unit price of 15 ringgit will give us 300 ringgit worth of movie tickets. And 20 units of books multiplied by its unit price of 25 ringgit will give us a total of 500 ringgit worth of books. So the total expenditure for 2019 is 900 ringgit. Why don't you try and calculate the total expenditures for the year 2020? We can see that the total expenditure for 2020 is 915 ringgit. So to calculate the CPI for 2019, we simply divide the total expenditure for 2019, which is 900 ringgit, over the total expenditure for 2000, which is the base year, uh, that is 750 ringgit, and multiply by 100. So the CPI for 2019 is 120. Why don't you pause this video and try to calculate the CPI for 2020? We can see that the Consumer Price Index for 2020 is 122. The next step is to calculate the rate inf of inflation from 2019 to 2020. Remember that the inflation rate is basically how much the CPI increases expressed as a percentage. Here we take the CPI for 2020 minus the CPI for 2019 over the CPI for 2019 and multiply by 100. So 122 minus 120 over 120 multiplied by 100. So we have an inflation rate of about 1.67%. So to recap, we can always calculate the inflation rate between two years by determining the percentage change in the CPI. To do, uh, to do that, we take the CPI in the second year, subtract the CPI in the previous year, and divide it by the previous year's CPI. 
multiply that by 100 and we will get the inflation rate. Moving on to interpreting the changes in CPI. If, for example, the base year is 1980, we know that the price index for the base year is 100. So if the CPI for 1992 is 200, what that means is the same basket of goods and services which cost 100 ringgit in 1980 now cost 200 ringgit in 1992. There is an increase in price by 100%. In the previous example, we saw that the percentage change in CPI from 2019 to 2020 was 1.67%. In other words, we have an inflation rate of 1.67%. We can see that the price of goods and services have increased by about 1.7%. We can also use the rule of 70 to estimate the number of years it will take for some measure to double. If the inflation rate is 7%, how long will it take for prices to double? By using the rule of 70, we just divide 70 by the given inflation rate, that is 70 over 7, which gives us 10 years. So we can say that it will approximately take 10 years for prices to double if the current inflation rate is 7%.